Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make passive income like top brands in 2017. And this is the fourth episode of this series. So I've already covered top brands like Smart Passive Income and uh, this is why I'm broke.com and some of these brands like that. But in this one, in this episode, I'm going to cover Tim Ferriss. So he's a very famous entrepreneur. You've probably heard of him. He's written four best-selling books, like the Four Hour Work Week, for instance. And he's also got one of the most popular podcasts on the internet. So Tim Ferriss has a few different ways that he makes passive income. I want to show you how he does it, so that you can maybe implement it in your own business. The first thing he does, of course, is books. So a great way to make passive income is to sell a book or a lot of smaller books. So there's two main strategies you can do. You can publish like mass produced books that are covering a very small niche topic like how to stop binge eating or how to cure your gambling problem or something like that. or you can do something that you want to be like a bestseller. So you can put all your time, you can put a whole year of work into a book like Tim Ferriss would do and then just really promote it. And then if it catches on, if it get, gets on the best selling list, it can make you millions of dollars in sales, just one book. So that's what he's done. He's created four best selling books, starting with the four hour work week and then working his way into um, talking about entrepreneurship, business, automation, uh, lifestyle design, um, getting lean, losing weight, cooking, how to learn new skills, and things like that. So if you can create either one best-selling book or a lot of just smaller niche books, you can make a lot of passive income from that just off of Amazon sales. And you can also sell them on Barnes & Noble, Apple iBooks. Uh, he also sells on Books A Million, IndieBound, and IndieGo. So to get started, let's say you want to sell a book on Amazon, you can go to kdp.amazon.com and you can start selling your eBooks. And then if you want a physical version to be created without having to have it manufactured and all that, you can have your Kindle book created as a physical version if it gets really popular. To do that, you would use CreateSpace. CreateSpace will make physical versions of your book on demand and sell them when people want to buy that version. So. You go to kdp.amazon.com to publish ebooks, but then when you want to expand your books into physical versions without having to mass produce them and spend a lot of money, you can use CreateSpace, which is on the same page. You just click CreateSpace. It's an Amazon company, and they will um, do it all for you for just a commission. So, ebooks one of the best ways to make passive income online because you publish it and then people just buy it and buy it and buy it for months and years in the, into the future. So that's one way that he does it is selling books. Another thing he does is a podcast, okay? So he has the podcast. You know, the Tim Ferriss show is always uh, on full display on his website here. You can just click to listen here. He's on iTunes, Stitcher, and Overcast where you can listen to his podcast. Basically, he interviews people that are successful in a lot of different fields. So he'll interview um, martial artists, he'll interview celebrities like actors, he'll, so he'll interview psychologists, doctors, firefighters, authors, chess players, all kinds of people. And you can find that on iTunes or any of those other ones that I mentioned, like Overcast and Stitcher, and listen to one of his episodes. You'll probably get hooked on it. I actually listen to this show quite a bit. It's a really good show. And 
it's very unique. That's one of the things you have to do. You need to make a very unique podcast. But the way he makes money from the podcast is from sponsorships. So he gets sponsorships by just getting more people to listen to the podcast. The more people that listen to it, the more sponsors will contact you for ad placement. So at the beginning of his podcast, he'll have two ad placements. And at the end of the podcast, he'll have two ad placements. And they'll have a 30-second or one minute ad slot for each of those placements. So he'll have Wealthfront, he'll have 99 Designs, and companies like this that think his audience would want to buy what they're selling, and then he'll have these ad placements in there. So I encourage you to listen to an episode of the Tim Ferriss Show and see how he makes money from advertisements like miniature radio commercials in the beginning and at the end of his podcast. And if you want to start your own podcast, I'll have a link to this page for you, but you go to itunespartner.apple.com and it will have a place where you can submit your podcast, where you can test it, where you can figure out what's required to do it before you publish it. And of course, you want to just do something that's very original, that really um, isn't already out there. Somebody's not already doing exactly what you want to do. And that's what Tim Ferriss did with his podcast. But so far, we've covered how he makes he makes passive income from book sales. You can do that through Amazon using kdp.amazon.com as well as CreateSpace. And then iTunes, of course, with Stitcher and Overcast to sell ad slots for a podcast. And then you can get started there at itunespartner.apple.com. Number three, another thing he does is he has a blog and he uses that as show notes and a resources hub. So he doesn't really even use his blog as a normal blog in many senses of the world, senses of the word, because he spends more of his time on what is already working, which is his podcast and his books. So he'll write a book every few years publish that, make millions of dollars from it, and that makes him passive income from for years and years because people are always buying it on Amazon and other co- and other websites. Then of course he has his podcast. He'll do like a podcast episode a week or maybe more. He definitely publishes every Friday, and then he has ad slots. So people will listen to these podcast episodes over and over um for months after he published it and then people listen to those ads and he gets paid for them so another thing he does without really completely focusing on it is his blog and if you go to tim.blog you can see usually his latest podcast episodes and things like that but he doesn't really do a lot of articles anymore he doesn't write a lot of just standalone blog post type of articles mostly he uses it just as a resource for having the latest podcast episodes uh, notes links that are mentioned in the episodes a description of who he's interviewing and then if he publishes a book you can see on any podcast episode like this one for instance where he interviews Debbie Millman um, and It'll talk about her a little bit, things she's done. It'll have a place where you can listen to it. He'll have uh, links that were mentioned. So you can go to the websites they talk about. He has notes about what they talk about at different points during the episode. And then he talks about people mentioned. That's the basis of what he uses blog posts for. He doesn't use them to really write. So that's something you can do. If you specialize in something other than blogging, then like YouTube or podcasting or social media, you can just use that as kind of a complement to that instead of having a standalone thing where you have to write full articles on top of what you're already doing. So do what works best and then you can use your blog as a complement to it like he does. And then you can list affiliate links and things like that. 
um, for extra income. So another thing he does on his website you'll see is he has resources for his books. So he'll, he'll publish the table of contents on his website from his books. He'll also publish the different links to supplements and products that he mentions in his book as well as other studies and things like that. And then you'll notice that a lot of them say the name in the book, like 4hourbody.com slash the product name, and many of those are affiliate links. So I'll talk more about that in a minute. But this is just a way of how you can publish on your blog without having to be somebody who writes articles. So he does a great job with that, makes him more income because of it. Another thing he does, of course, like I just mentioned, is affiliate links. So when he does these resource pages, it opens up another opportunity for passive income through affiliate links. Now, also, he could even have ads on his blog. Say he had an ad up here with Google AdSense or something like that. He could have even more income. But he chooses not to use ads. He has things like affiliate links instead. So if you go to the content page of the different tools he mentioned in the 4-Hour Body book, you'll notice that when you go to the bottom, he has the different products he talks about. So for instance, um, these all say the name of the book.com slash the name of the product. And he does that using a service called Pretty Link. And Pretty Link is something that you can get for WordPress where it allows you to make an affiliate link look better. So instead of the affiliate link being like amazon.com slash your username slash this slash that and be a really long affiliate link and people look at it and they're like, I don't know if I want to click on this. Instead of that, you can make it to where you can rename the affiliate link using this plugin, which is free to download. They also have a paid version. but you can get this and then it allows you to make it say the four hour work com slash the product name instead of that really long URL that has your username and the product and keywords and the name of the website it's on and all that stuff. So you'll notice that he does that a lot with his affiliate links. That also makes it easy for people to remember if he mentions them in his podcast or videos. Also, if you want to sign up, say, for the Amazon affiliate program, which, of course, is um, a source for a lot of the products he mentions on his pages, all you would have to do is go to affiliate-program.amazon.com, which is a page that looks like this. Click Join Now for free, and it will allow you to sell and market Amazon products of any kind and get up to 10% commissions when somebody buys it through your link. So then you would use your blog as a resource page, and when people click on 4hourbody.com slash gout, they would get, and they buy the product, they would give you a commission of up to 10% from Amazon if they bought it there. And that allows you to make even more passive income because people can come to your blog years later after you publish it, after you publish the article and still be able to buy these products that you have an affiliate link for. So it makes another source of passive income from not only your podcast and videos, but through your blog. So like I said, use affiliate-program.amazon.com to become an Amazon affiliate. You can also become an affiliate with ClickBank, share a sale, um, you can do individual sites like Bluehost, HostGator, things like that, and then use Pretty Link to make your affiliate links look better the way Tim Ferriss does. And then last but not least, he uses YouTube to make himself even more passive income through his already established income streams. So he doesn't have like a separate YouTube income necessarily. But what he does is he uses his YouTube channel, which is not something he specializes in. What he's done and what he's shown us is that you really need to kind of focus on what you're best at. So he focuses on books and his podcast. That's what he's best at. 
but that doesn't mean he completely ignores YouTube and blogging. He uses them as complements to his strengths. So that's what you should do. It will make you more money in the long run, and he's a great example. So if you go to Tim Ferriss on YouTube and look at his channel, I'll have a link to it for you. He doesn't have that many views on his videos. Now, some of them do have quite a few views, but a lot of them don't. A lot of them don't have any more than, say, you know, two or three thousand because most of his videos you'll notice are just him posting the audio from his podcast interviews so if you look at his videos you notice his mo his latest ones his last nine or so videos in a row have been just podcast episodes so he's using his podcast and getting the absolute most traffic to it by using his avenue of YouTube to promote it as well. And these are very simple videos. All he does is, you can watch any of his videos, all he does is he has this as his background. He has a picture of the Tim Ferriss show cover photo and then he has a picture of who he is interviewing and that's it that's literally the entire visual for his video so it just shows you that you can make a video very quickly from a podcast just by posting a picture that kind of illustrates the episode and then just having the audio on there you'd be surprised how many people go on youtube to listen just to audio books and podcast episodes so that's just another way you can promote what you already have on YouTube without having to focus on YouTube that much. If you want to do this, if you want to edit your videos and create videos from a podcast episode or something like that, I would recommend Move a V Video Editor, which is a very affordable video editor that has a lot of features but not too many to where you'd be overwhelmed. You don't need to have a background in editing. I actually use this for my editing, so when I need to edit a video, then I will use Movavi Video Editor. It's a one-time payment. It's not something you have to pay yearly or monthly for, and it's not like it's a few hundred dollars. It's only like um, 40 bucks or 30 bucks or something like that. So it's something I would recommend. It's something that you can use and get a lot of use out of by just taking a podcast episode like Tim Ferriss and turning it into a video very quickly. So that's kind of how he does it. He makes money from book sales passively. He makes passive income from the ads on his podcast episodes, which you can always go back and watch anytime you want. He makes passive income from affiliate links he makes passive income from those types of things, and it really pays off for him. Then, of course, he also does things like investing and stuff like that, but that's a whole other deal that's kind of offline. But as far as making passive income, this is how Tim Ferriss does it. I hope you got some uh, ideas from it. Maybe you can find some things that appeal to you out of what he does, and hopefully it'll help you make some extra money online. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned something that can help you, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if there's some other uh, brands that you want me to break down as far as how they make money passively, or you want to just let me know what you thought about the video, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and get your feedback and add to this subject. So... Also, all of these show notes, links, and related content to this video will be on one page at selfmadesuccess.com. You can go there for that, or 
I'll have the link in the video description for it as well. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.